Data centers today are using a variety of different rack access control systems. Some people deploy containment systems like this, where you might have a locked uh, containment door to a row uh, of different racks, but sometimes they're not in a containment, or sometimes the security in a containment system is not sufficient, especially in co-location. So today we're going to be showing you some of the uh, some of the reasons why customers are looking at the Rarid Hand Smart Lock system, and we're going to do a bit of a comparison of the different types of locks that uh, are in use are in use today. The most commonly found handle on a rack is a basic swing handle. This swing handle is made of plastic or metal, but provides no security to the IT equipment inside the rack. It allows for anybody to walk up to the rack and open and access the IT equipment inside. The other type of handle is one step up from this. It adds a key barrel. This key barrel allows the lock to be opened with a key. As you can see from this one, this key looks like a, a round style key, but these key barrels can be changed. Most swing handles support a standard key barrel. This key barrel is what you find at home in your door locks and can be easily switched out if you need to change the key for the racks. The last type of swing handle is an electronic one. These electronic ones can come with a built-in card reader or without. It includes an electronic mechanism for locking and unlocking the handle remotely and it also adds a key if there is a requirement to bypass the electronic lock. These handles are required to be powered. With the Rarotan Smart Lock solution, these are powered by the Rarotan BDUs or Smart Rack Controller. We're seeing a number of customers more concerned about security in the data center. Sometimes it relates to maybe a new cybersecurity policy that they're trying to implement. But cybersecurity is not just what happens on a network. There's physical security that needs to be addressed as well. And the first place to start at securing your servers is to secure your rack. So we're seeing a lot of customers interested in being able to secure their racks. And the different types of solutions that are out there today um, are not really addressing the modern way of managing rack access and security. For example, a simple lock like this one that just has a key, you still need to be able to give the key to someone. You still need to be able to, you still need to, you still have to allocate the key to somebody and that key could potentially be copied. One of the problems with this type of lock is that there is no audit log. You don't know who accessed the rack when, when uh, how did they do it, and did they lock the rack after they're finished. There's many benefits of a smart lock system. One of them is a feature called virtual caging. Virtual caging is the ability to, to pair one or more racks or handles with one card. So by tapping on the smart lock, it can open up just one or more cabinets at the same time. Let's have a look in a little bit more detail. Here we have three rows of cabinets. One of them has blue dotted line which indicates a virtual cage. We've got red dots that indicate the smart lock, green dots that indicate the smart card reader, and here we have an RFID card. The way that this works is if someone was to arrive to the card reader with their card, it could be programmed to unlock all of the associated handles with that card. What is this beneficial for? Well, it means that you don't need to have a card reader on every single door. You could use a USB card reader, like the Raritan USB card reader, plug this into one of the iX7 controllers, and then this could be outside the containment. That means that when a user comes in and taps their card, 
they can then open up all of the card, all of the cabinets inside the container that they're allowed to access.